Hello Nuggets, welcome to the food truck, my name is Ruka, and today we are doing a let's play of Disco Elysium. Now usually I would be streaming games instead, uh, today though I put up a poll on Twitter whether or not Disco Elysium would be something I want to stream. I realize it is a very text heavy game, uh, kind of like one of those CRPGs, and you know I'm not opposed to streaming it. But I feel like I kind of want to try a Let's Play, and this might be the best candidate for that. So, uh, we're going to go right into it. I already did some... I fixed some options uh, before we before the recording started. So, we're just going to get into it. Not quite sure what I'm going to get into, but let's see. Select an archetype. Uh, oh, you can't see my mouse. I probably should do that. Hold up. Let's uh, make sure the mouse is visible. There we go. I'm probably going to be... <laughs> I'm probably going to be annoying some people with my mouse decisions because it's going to go everywhere. Kind of like this. Uh, archetype, thinker, sensitive, physical. I've never actually played one of these games before, so I don't know what to do. Though I, I have a feeling I should play this like a D&D &D thing. However, I kind of want to see where I would be uh, if we made the character based on me. So let's go create your own first and figure this out. Good intellect. Oh, intellect. Wait, how many stats do I have? Ah, okay. So these are the maximum stats I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... A 12 stats. Psyche, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent I am. I feel like I'm actually pretty weak, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not that good at reading people. <laughs> Intellect, rogue, brain power, how smart you are. I would like to say it is great, but good is fine. Physique, your musculature, how strong you are. Average, average. Motor skills, how agile you are. I'm actually not terrible. I'm actually average on that also. Physique and motor skills, fairly average. Fairly balanced. Fairly balanced, minus the, the psyche. I'm I'm not I'm not good at reading people at all. <sighs> at all. Alright, where do we go from here? Signature skills. Overview info. Okay. Oh, okay, so we can pick skills based on our stats is that is that what it is logic uh, raw intellectual power deduce the world encyclopedia call upon your knowledge produce fascinating trivia rhetoric practice the art of persuasion enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse drama play the actor lie detect lies conceptualization understand creativity see art in the world Visual calculus. Reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. Wait. How many skills do I have? Or is this what I have? Do I pick this? Well, I feel like uh, my signature, signature skill would be... Logic. I feel like, because the rest of this stuff is not something I associate myself with. Empathy? Who needs empathy? Authority? Nope. Not at all. What is Esprit de Corpse? Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. I see. <clears throat> not as specific to the game. I get you. Charm women and men play the puppet master. I am not good at that at all, for sure. <laughs> Thick blows, don't let the world kill you. Okay, so confirm for intellect uh, logic. Oh, is that is that it? Okay, well that's it then. Alright. The Furies are home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Something something Thomas. Begin. There is nothing. 
only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient reptilian brain, what? Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever? Simply keep on existing. Never, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. All right, I guess I'm just gonna keep on continue existing. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Ex-wives? <laughs> no ex-wives, what? <laughs> this is great, give me some more. Uh, what was that about X wa X something? Yeah, what was that about the X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness. Of the meat thing. I have to point this out right away. I am loving the voice acting. There's so much raw emotion in this. But at the same time, why is my limbic system speaking to me? Um, plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I want to know about the X something. <laughs> uh, let, let's just push this line of thought. I want to know about the X something. What, what, what's that about X wives? What? X love, X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay, sail with me through the abyssal pelagic zone. What is the abyssal pelagic zone? Alonsi, never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I, I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Huh? I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light. Wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. You know, that's kind of appropriate this stage of life right now. Let's go with that. Do you really... Don't be an naive, of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. I do, let me off. Until forever ends. No, I want to keep thinking. I like thinking. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? I don't even know what's going on. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the... the cursor for uh, the playthrough. I move it too, too much, I feel like that'll be distracting for some people. So, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait. Inlaid Empire, easy, success, what? Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me, what's waiting for me? I don't care, I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. <clears throat> what is going on? Fear and apprehension, you should ask what's out there first. Tell me what is waiting for me, I don't care, I'm an idiot, brave idiot. Yeah, w what is out there? I'm kind of curious. There's this giant ball there. An evil ape. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. Okay, I think I get what this is saying now. The ball is the earth. And the apes is mankind. Evil apes. I wouldn't say all of us are evil, but quite a few people are evil. According to this thing, I think. Uh, but I'm kind of curious. How small are the apes? 
infinitesimally small. I see. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. This is true. This is so true. That's why flat earthers think that it's still flat. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? Flying for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. That is sad. That sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. Hmm. Let's just say, that's kind of sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean, drowned? You lost. Fair enough. The sound outside, you recognize it. It's a Caprice Canela motor carriage. Open your eyes. I still don't know what the heck is going on. Oh, and there's a nasty, nasty sound. What is that? Okay. We're not quite buck naked, but it's we're still in a huge mess. I guess he had a philosoph philosoph philosophical moment while being drunk and whatnot. Put out some clothes, dude. What is this? What's this? Health. Uh, morale. Okay. Anything else? Okay, these are my stats. I don't have any... Right, I didn't click the info bit earlier. That's fine. Do I have anything on me? Nope, nope, I can't click any of this stuff. Okay, let's just start with the bottle. Magnum-sized magnum bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Hold tab to highlight. <clears throat> Let's uh let's get dressed first, shall? Yeah, let's put some pants on. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to see this. Take pants. What is this over here? Oh, it's a broken glass. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus easy nine. Assess the damage. Look out. Why check? You may retry it. Always loses, always wins. I guess we'll assess the damage? The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? I'm pretty sure I broke it with something from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Assess the size of the impact. It's pretty big, I can see that. Wait, what am I doing? Something you've done before. Assess the size of the impact then. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. It was too big to be called a sword. It was nothing more than a hunk of metal. That's what it reminds me of. Too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. I'm looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. I don't know if that's uh, heavy enough and uh, hard enough to make a hole in the window like that. I feel like it was something harder. Just me. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Yeah, I don't... Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that shoe. Um, I don't need it. 
I don't need anyone. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. All right, so uh, the game is talking to me. Visual calculus is talking to me. Whatever the heck that is. What is this? You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. I guess I have to fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Aluminium. I'm guessing this is a British game. Uh, let's see. What else can I interact with? I really don't want the tie. Is there anything in the bathroom? Ah, the water is running. We might want to turn that off. Or check ourselves in the mirror. Holy crap, this place is a dump. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Yeah, I can kind of see that from the portrait here in the lower left. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror? No way, I'm not doing this. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. <laughs> you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. I don't care. Let's still wipe the mirror. Behold. I... Okay, well, we probably have seen better days. You have no idea who this <laughs> thing is, do you? Oh, dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's, um... Is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. Oh, yes. This is, a, this is absolutely this face of a late-stage alcoholic. <laughs> Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. It just is. <laughs> Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> you can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Yeah. Yeah. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, I don't know. It's indiscernible. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, it is an expression of pain. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. I don't think there's really any reason to do either of this. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Let the, let the mirror be for now. Well, we do have a face now, at least. I still can't see the face other than from the the bottom left. We got pants on, no hat, no jacket, no shirt, nothing held, no bullets. <clears throat> I guess that's everything. Uh, pretty low health. I'm not sure how good or bad that is. What's this? Savoy Fair. Sneak under their noses, stun immense panache. Uh, yeah, we're not very good at sneak attacks, apparently. Electrochemistry, plus one. Go to the party, planet, love, and be loved by drugs. Physique base, plus three. Flare cut trousers, plus one. What the heck am I looking at? I have no idea, to be honest. 
Uh, let's see. What's this? Shirt. Sure. Let's take it. Might as well get somewhat decent. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. What's over here? Oh, it's a door? Why is it locked? Okay, well... I'm not ready to get dressed yet. Let's see what's uh what's up with this recorder thingy here. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Can we turn it off? I guess we can't. All right, what's this thing? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. That must have been me. What's this? Cassette disc. Can we play said disc? Hold up. Uh, can I play disc? I can't hold it. it it's empty, but still. I, I would have expected to be able to hold it for... Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's take the jacket. I don't care for the tie, I hate ties. So we got no shoe, we have this one shoe. Apparently we're still in a drunken stupor. Is there anything else besides the door? Nope, that's everything, let's go. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. What are you, anyways? A detective? I, I think you're a detective, right? Red door. It's 15 degrees centigrade, doll. 15 degrees. What is 15 degrees? 60... 57... 9... Uh, 89. About 89 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Hello, officer. Hello, lady. Let's see. March 1951. What's the up? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Class G. Class A? Class G? Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman races. Oh, yeah. He said that. She, he said that. Her eyes are brown. And her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Officer, am I a military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep walking. Um... I want to talk to her. I want to see what she has to say. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman! Chief Executive Officer, right? Then why'd you call me an officer? Uh, I'd like some. I would like to do the banter, but I'm I'm more of a get to the point kind of person. But then again, if I'd lost my memories, would I have the capacity to joke like this? Probably not. Let's just get to the point. Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you sure you're shitting me? God damn right, I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. She takes another drag, all this time. You've been here for three days, on official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. That would line up with everything that we've seen so far? You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. I might not know where I am or who I am, or what a corpus cinema is. How I, how I know what sounds like. What? Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Suggestion challenging. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Try the expression on her. I don't know you want her physically. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, I should get going now. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? 
Yeah, let's go with that. Could it be because of the drinking? Possibly, actually. She raised an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. I might not know where I am. Okay. There we are. I, should, uh, I think that's clear enough. Let's, let's just go. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. I gotcha. Where can I find my other shoe? Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct. A need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you. A light glinting off her eyes. Before you go, I have some questions for you. What if I don't want to ask questions? Hmm. Yeah, let's ask some questions for her. Yes. What is it they have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me, is it 51 right now? Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Okay, you can go now. Uh, your room is ne almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Disco music? Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Tell me something else. Yeah? Where is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. Oh! No, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revachol. Where is Revachol? Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Should that mean something to me? Revachol forever. How about you tell me something else instead? Yeah? What do they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. And what's that number? <laughs> Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have there been, then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Okay, tell me something else, so... Yeah? You can go now. I apparently have nothing else to ask you. Glad to have been of assistance. Thank you... For being so cooperative. You were actually very cooperative to being despite being so sassy. <sighs> Let's see. Door. I probably should not go into there. Wait, how do I move? Oh. Wazda. Wazda. Okay, let's uh, let's check what's over here. What's this? Money? Something on the table. Lowe's eleven cent. 11 centigrade rainfall. Some change. I don't hear anyone. I don't see anyone. Let's go grab it. 0.4 real. That seems awfully small. Like 40 cents? Cigarettes. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Yeah, let's leave that alone. We don't smoke here. What's this? There's a weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump de Le Monde. Trump Le Monde. Triumph the world? Triumph of the world? Is that what it is? Alright, let's get out. Maybe we can find our other shoe eventually. Well, I am shoeless. Man. I've s Maybe I got lucky with my hostels. None of them look this grungy. This is where the lyrics would be. Okay, so they have a stand-up music stage. A big old karaoke mic just wait f waiting for someone to sing into it. I see. 
The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. I'll talk to you later. I want to see what's around here first. What's this? Fire extinguisher. Wait, is this a fire extinguisher? No. What is this? I don't see my item. Or is this thing I just picked up? Um, am I holding it? Is it somewhere? I don't see it. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Let's see, what's over here? I'm guessing that's the kitchen. They might not want me back there. A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for Union members. Doors open 1600. Oh, that's the mess hall. I'm still get I'm still thinking that's a kitchen for some reason. What's this? This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Oh no. Not the pinball machine. What's this? Bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful, dark liquid is spilling out. Let's see what else we got here. I mean, that's the door to the outside. Summer door closed for the winter. Wait. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Um... It's pretty modest. It's a normal sized. Exactly. It's measured, level headed, and it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Of course! They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the crowd going. Mm, I, I don't like either of these, to be honest. And right now, we're in a mess. We're a drunken mess. Um... Happy. Let's go happy. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. <laughs> sing the sad song. It's profound. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. <laughs> the sad song is profound, sure. Yes. Uh, sing karaoke. Uh, we need to find the tape, get a hold of a sad song tape. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that was so important. Oh, is my health thing here? Ah, this is where I heal myself. I understand now. I understand now. Um, hmm. The soft purr of electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone's working. The woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's high handwriting. Uh, I guess let's talk to the barkeep. I'm guessing they own the place. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then you, looks down again. You obviously do not own the place. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Uh, I'm not one to pick fights, so let's see. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skewer, 
The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. What happened to the bird? Can I help you with that? Uh, that's a great score, right? Say nothing. What happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Okay, you're not answering me. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? I'm a cop and I talk to who, whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. This guy really does not like me. All right. We'll leave you two with them. Auto save. Is this the real time in the game? Like my real no, the the game time doesn't really match my time, but the minutes do. Where is this? Is this the UK? I think I, I think there's a UK time. I can't do anything there. Uh, let's talk to the wheelchair lady first. Hello, sweetie. Oh, Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Hello. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods toward the man in the orange bomber jacket. Sure, just, uh, I just want to get a grasp on what the heck is going on here first before we do anything. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Uh, according to my recording, barely 37 minutes. Pretty long, it's drink o'clock. Uh, not now. Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy rum and lemonade? With a twist of lemon? Maybe lime. Maybe who cares? Just rum? Maybe I should lick it before I go? <laughs> Uh, nah, let's not do that. I, I, who knows who's been drinking out of that bottle? I don't, and who knows if they took out a cup and poured the drink out instead of like drinking straight from the bottle. Let, let's not do that. Finish the thought. Who is this guy though? Sleeping dock worker. A man is sleeping at the table, wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. I saw that as something else. You probably know what it is. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Pick up the pills, physical instrument, wake him up, leave. I don't think I'll be want to be picking up any pills he's got. Let's just leave him alone. What's this, though? There's something here. No. All right, uh, friend. No, wait, before I talk to friend, can I go out? As you approach the door leading out of the hostel, the bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket turns to you. Okay, Kim Kisuragi. I guess you're a friend. Excuse me. I think you may be the person I've been waiting for. He narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Shake his hand, don't shake his hand. Um, don't shake the hand. Who are you again? Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he is waiting for your name. Uh, concept conceptualization. Invent a name for yourself. I don't really know my name. Let's make a name for ourselves. Let's try. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not time yet. I don't really know my name. Hmm. It's a success, but I still have to say I don't know my name. Okay, then. He processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? 
Yeah, who exactly is the manager? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. I see. You mean him? Uh, cafeteria man? Not toward the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I just talked to him. No, I haven't. Uh, there must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. You mean him? I'm guessing he's talking about the guy behind the bar. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Yeah. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Police. Full force. Just the two of you. Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. Uh, what interviews? Yes, I have. Uh, no, I haven't. I have not. Let's just assume we've been drinking for the past three days and I have not. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Yeah, I think it, it would look bad if I said that uh, what interviews were already incompetent as it is, but it's like, let's just say uh, we haven't. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body from the tree? I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know. Yeah? No. Uh, completely. I don't even... Dead body? What dead body? Uh, no. Let's say no. So, the body is still in the tree. We have to preserve the crime scene, right? Why would I remove it from there? And that's not my job. That's, uh, that's whoever's uh, the EMT. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Okay, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police? Uh, but I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. You know what, let's just get going then. Uh, I just pretend we know something. After you, officer. Okay, we have uh, our friend here. Inspect the victim's body. Can I... If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Uh, wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check pockets. You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. Ah, I have my badge. I'm a policeman, I have my badge. We, we, we would have to show it. It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible, but getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we have to talk to the cafeteria manager. Inspect the victim's body. It's been there apparently since a while back. Need to report your missing badge. Yep, we got quite a few stuff to do on a Monday. Oh, a lovely Monday. Yes? Tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. Uh, let's see, we're from different precincts. Why are we on the same case? Actually, that I have all I need to know. Let's let's start from the biggest. Let's start from the top. Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I know literally nothing about it. Only what you told me before. Do you want me to brief you? Yes, brief. That sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. I see. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. 
Wait, does the briefing say who the victim was? Who was the caller? Both seem like legit questions. Uh, let's see. Relevant to the case, the caller did not identify. Anonymous caller, so we wouldn't know. Uh, what does the briefing say? Who does the briefing say who the victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. I guess we're asking who the caller was also. To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. I see. That makes it difficult. Why hide themselves? No, I know why they hide themselves, but we're still asking it anyway. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Yeah, that's the police's job. Hold on, and the RCM is... Yes, of course, I understand everything now. Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer? I still don't understand anything. Hold on. The RCM is... That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. We are We're a militia. This city. Okay, it's a militia. No wonder we look plain clothed. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Of course, yes, I understand everything now. Uh, let's ask about the killer. That's right. Can we go over the pre preliminary info again? Would you say there's a mysterious case? You mean like a brief? No. You want me to brief you again? No, 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 we're, I think I'm good. There's no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received... Yeah, we During got that, that we time, got that. The victim had been stripped of his belongings. Mega okay, cool, then. I heard enough. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Would you say this is a mysterious case? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. You never know, dude. This is a game. You never know. Uh, I was thinking something otherworldly might be involved. You know, something supernatural. Supra-natural. White male in his 40s. What more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? <laughs> could it be sexy? <laughs> okay, let's ask that. Oh, he's gonna think we're an idiot. There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... Uh, maybe there was a young woman involved, like the one upstairs! Are you sure there wasn't some sex angle we could be considering? Okay, I guess that sells the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think let's not make a fool of ourselves too much. Excellent. Was there anything else? If we're from different precincts, why are we in the same case? That's a good question. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. Which means? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. I know what I'm in on. Retrograde amnesia. Tell me about it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay, let's let it go for now. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Actually, that's everything. Good. Uh, tell me about the case again. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. Doesn't care! He's having trouble processing it. Believe in it, even. I mean, I feel like I should be straightforward with him after I try to play off everything, and since it's getting a little bit complicated, it will be in our best interest to be very forthright about everything. Much like everything else in life, but some people don't agree. 
I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking if involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Wow. Okay. There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. What's wrong with my personal affairs? So what should I concentrate on? But I'm completely lacking basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? I'm afraid this is a med medical situation. Uh, okay, we got militia. We got other stuff. Fine, I'll just let it be for now. I feel like if I ask too many questions, there's going to be severe consequences. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. Okay, forget it. A moment passes. The what? lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. You seem to be following me. Well, that's because he's with me, so that would be redundant. I'm t I want to talk about you. Uh, I guess he just wants to get the job over with, so... You know what? Let's just go. Let's go. Let's talk to the, the guy behind the bar. But I think there's also something. Pissing competition. Apparently there was a... Pissing match between Precinct 41 and 57. Ask him after we're done. Did we finish something? Ask him to tell you about the case. Yeah, okay. We already did that. Alrighty then. Let's talk to this guy. Who clearly does not want to have anything to do with us. The with unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. He does not like us. He likes the other guy. You have a beard? It's pretty scruffy. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. Awfully young. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41... He looks to you, realizing he doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor. I'm currently in between names. So, uh, say nothing. I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. And you are so ever-friendly. It's like when you left your hand, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. You're banned, sorry. Kim is about to say something, let him. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? Yes. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Temporary, you say? That's probably why you're so pissed off at everything. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Quite helpful, okay. As long as we don't bug you, you and uh, so someone else gets bugged. He looks behind a pile of coasters, uh, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Oh wow, busy guy. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. You know what? I just... just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right then, questions, I got this. Play the fool. Who, me? No, I'm good. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Yeah. Where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that, then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. 
No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the hyperbole. Uh, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. <laughs> Did you kill him? Let's not ask, and, uh, let's not ask that. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Wow, you are so helpful. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Every am I not a cop? Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Hey, dude, we didn't we didn't need to know about her uh, uh, like going away because you try to hit on her. OK, man, geez, issues. Thank you. He opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in, in a small pocket. Didn't go well. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. I'm sorry, I uh, I misunderstood my prompt choices, to be honest. The stuff gets on my nerves, I am a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know, I just went for it. You're right, I probably shouldn't have asked that. Eh, everything has something to do with everything. I like to be thorough. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Are you the bartender? He already uh, answered that, so that's a no. What is your problem with me? Uh, no personal questions, that is all. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. What's real? Slip away unnoticed. Ah, 42%. I don't like my chances. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> uh, try to slip away. Oh wow, did, it, did that work? As you blow this joint. Oh wow, it worked? A whiny voice shouts. Real mature, man. Real mature. Let's see, who made the call? Call Sylvie. Okay, and we finished the the question thingy. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that to work, but it did. But it did. Uh, where's my shoe? I only have one shoe. Where's my other shoe? A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Okay, so my other foot's freezing. Street sign reads, fuck the police. Great. What's this place called? Pigs go home. The street name is illegible. Lovely. Okay, so this door does not open unless it's summer. It is currently not summer. This is not where my shoe is, but I would like to see what is over here. Glossy magazine, most able-bodied man. This issue hosts a top 10 list. Welcome to Revacall. Jump Jams, a popular music mag. Why is it French? What's this? Magnesia. Sure, let's grab that. Might as well. Wait, what's this over here? It is a gift shop. Brit. Spelling is correct. Three T's, how idiomatic. What is this place? Oh, it's a flower shop and bakery. Yellow roses, dozens of them. Tulips too. Wait, I think it's mainly a... Coffee shop? A melancholy pop song plays on the radio. I'm guessing it's the ATM. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals ten cents. 
One bottle. Well, we got 40 cents. We don't need one. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. Frit clerk. What's that magazine she's reading? Before we go on, what is this, Frit? It's a stupid question, but we're going to go for it. I don't know. Frit? And what is Frit? A 7 to 11 grocery store. Okay, I was expecting a different answer, but that's uh, pretty good. Why is it written with three T's? I don't want to ask that, but I guess we're going to have to. I think they think that the extra T makes it funkier. It doesn't. She chews on her gum with disgust. Okay. The story goes that normal Fritta, with two T's, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. I mean, I feel like that's pretty darn close. They could have done something else, but well, who am I going to ask? Um... Okay, I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Uh, thank you for your help. Uh-huh. She doesn't want to talk. I don't want to talk to her. I think that's all fair. What's this? Her socks. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. It costs four. I do not have enough. I got like 40 cents. Where do I get more money? What's this? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Hypnogamma? Uh, I guess I don't know what these products do. Don't really need to ask about the manufacturer, because you don't apparently here. Nosefed health plus one, Dromine health plus three, Magnesium plus one morale, Hypnogamma morale plus three, I see. Not very cost effective. No, actually it is cost effective. The more expensive one is better. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosefed is a nasal spray. Dramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... A drug? I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Okay, I mean, that's good enough. Uh, uh, th that's, that's plenty. That's plenty. Uh-huh. Let's leave. Let's see, what's back here? Cigarettes, I think. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. See, the electrochemistry in my brain really wants to get more drunk. I am in heaven. I need it all so bad. And say nothing, just take it in. This is not a good place for a recovering addict. Eh, let's not right now. Alright, let's let's get out of here. I think we're done with this area. I just wanna get a good idea what the heck is around here before we actually go to where we need to go. Okay, protesters. We don't want to mess with... Oh, there's some coins here. Let's grab these. Let's take all that. My money now! My money now! 
Okay. Uh, nothing out of the board. Oh, what's this? Goods from the lorry haphazardly litter the surroundings. The lorry. What is a lorry? Truck? Is this a lorry? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. I think this might be mine. No, that's his. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the I'm back of the vehicle. Him. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Open the door, is there... I wonder if there's anything in here. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Pull out the pull-out toolbox. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly oh, that's his, a little right. protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Pry bar. Rubber-handled chain cutters. Flashlight toolbox. Let's get the pry bar. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Let's grab all of them if if he'll let us. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, though the cutters in your hand. And the flashlight. It's robust, weatherproof and well made. Police issue. Blue. Blue. Lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull-out toolbox <clears throat> slides back into its nest. Run the heater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers I and guess the radio on its hook. I guess I may as well call. The frequency tableau lights up and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice from Precinct 57. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Come in dispatch, come in dispatch. <laughs> come in Delta 10, this is Firewalker, copy. Uh, let's be professional. Hi, Alice, this officer from 41... Uh, for 41st Precinct speaking. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Could you connect me to the 41st Precinct? I have something I need to report. I need you to connect me to civilian S uh, Sylvie. She may have reported a murder. Done with the radio for now. I need my badge. Just a second, Officer. She puts you on hold. The static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. 10-2, 10 This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. Oh, 10 2 10 5 is an actual greeting. Okay, I should do that. Jules Pedu. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. And cops know relay code. <laughs> really? Are you sure about that? 10-4, Station 41. I've got an urgent business. Over. 10-4, message received. 10-5, relay message. What's your status? Over. Just reporting in. Over. 10-18, state your message, sir. I need to report my missing badge. 10-9, over. Uh, my badge. Can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. 10-4, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. Oh boy, 1022 the captain. Is it him? What does he want? <laughs> Apparently they've also they're also fed up with me. Jean de Vicmar. Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. 
Who lost his badge? Oh my gosh, Chester! Chester! You don't have to say anything. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? My name is Mullen. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. <laughs> he says, fighting off laughter. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Oh, well, I would have taken it, though. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Come on, operator. Tell them to stop. This is serious. Uh, officer lost his badge. Ha ha. Like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Can we just move on? I want to get it reported and be done with it. 10 for I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! What's going on? You know what? I probably should have just given him a hard time about that. Super Cop here lost his badge. F you, Chester. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Could you all please just stop saying lost his badge for a moment? Enough with this now. I have other things to discuss. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Sober. Okay, apparently I'm drunk all the time. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Yeah, I don't have my gun either. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. For Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I don't have my gun?! Oh god, it's not here. Ah, neither of these is good, and it just reinforces my really bad image. I don't have my gun? No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Well, thank you, Half-Light, whatever the heck you are. What is Half-Light? What is Half-Light? Let the body take control. Threaten people. Cool for high-strung investigators. Shoot now. Ask question later. Cops surprise haters. It is a flight, fight or flight response. I see. I see. Well, track your badge down. Ten nine, coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Drama. Convince them you didn't lose your. Gun. There's a red check. It is. It cannot be retired. Ah, uh, say nothing. Ten one, you're breaking up. Ten nine, repeat, please. Over. Don't say anything. Ten nine, come in, officer. Over. Don't say anything. Come in, officer. Ten nine, repeat message, please. Did you misplace your firearm? Over. Just say you lost your gun. Anything else would only make the situation worse here. Affirmative. Over. Mm. He says he doesn't have it. Dear God, he lost his gun? Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> this isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go here made him piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass. <laughs> he still got his wiener. <laughs> oh, man. Mac, I am about to, like, punch you from all the way over here. Also, I guess my name is Disco. I'm guessing Disco Elysium is the name of the of our police officer here. I'm not going to. Ask him. Uh, Sergeant Orson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. Wow. Yes, I lost my wiener too, just laid off, okay? I left it at, this, at his mama's after I fucked her in the ass all night. <laughs> Let's go with that. That's a negative. Not going to say that. Over. What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, so he said he sodomized your mother. 
the prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Yeah, so just play you off, alright? <clears throat> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Yeah, and you know, just lay off with everything else and we're square, okay? Tell him to apologize right now. <clears throat> Sergeant Orson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Over. Hey, if you don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with a firewalker. Like he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. Who? Huh? The disbelief in Vic Mark's voice is overwhelming. Satellite officer V. Um, I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. Firewater? He's lost it. Fuck it, tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters. Okay! Satellite officer V. I heard him and I'm on it. Then for affirmative, officer in pursuit of his firearm. There is static. Oh god, I... Uh... Do you want me to talk to you about your mom again, Mac? Do we have to go through this again, Mac? You don't want to hear about it, Mac. Trust me. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. Uh, let's see... You know what, as much as I would like to continue with this, we are wasting time. 10-10, transmission over, let's just finish this. Roger that, 10-10. Over and out. Static ends with a loud click, then everything is silent in the cabin. This is Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Okay, we need to contact Sylvie. Of course. What is the number, officer? Uh, let's see. Kim, didn't guard give you Sylvie's number? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. Static, it's always a good sign. Uh, wait patiently. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a little rhythm with his right foot. Quite a lot of time has passed. All right, then. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Oh, she actually answered. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Yes, hello? A female voice greets you through static. It sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Hello, there's a police calling. I have some questions for you about last your last days at work. Sylvie, I believe we met before. This is Mary, a detective from Whirling in Rags. Uh, let's just go for the first one. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. No question about it. Good. Someone, finally, is cooperative. You quit your job at the Whirling Inn. Why? Uh, we already know why. Was it you who called the police? No, not me. But why didn't you call? Didn't a corpse behind your workplace bother you? Do you know who made that call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. I see. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. <sighs> so the Union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. That sounds very inconvenient. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Okay, next question. Yeah, go on. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer. The no, law. No, no, no. Have you seen my badge? This exact conversation has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. No, my badge is missing. Have you seen it anywhere? Oh, no, I haven't, sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. Real police would have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? Uh, where's my partner's police uniform? He doesn't have one either. I look like a detective. Not my uniform too? God, I should have really looked into that. Kim doesn't have a uniform. He seems real to me. 
I'm going to let it slide. I don't need answers for every little thing. Right. It's better to not ask too many questions. Lest people start thinking you're a cop or something. Uh, have you seen my gun? Probably not something I should be asking her, but let's try that. Please, no. Not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun, detective. I showed you my gun when it happened. You were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating, and... Okay, well, this guy's a piece of work. I can see that already. Actually, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what happened. Great. Anything else? I think I got everything I need. Thank you. Well, let's go with the first one. I'm kind of curious, but... but uh, let's try it. Mm. <sighs> let's get that shot. You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Why not? Alright, I won't push you on this. Are you ever going to come back to work? Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. Okay, let's leave that for now. I need, got everything I need. Thank you very much. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Plus one guard asked her out. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? Empathy. Let's, let's empathize. Try. Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her at the Whirling in Rags when she was still working there. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad, it's just... You were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skua thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What skua thing? The stuffed bird. The great skua. You threw it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. Wow, I was a piece of work. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. It sounds like me all right. It doesn't sound anything like me. I love birds. Bitch bird <laughs> it was coming to her. Uh, why do I always end up screwing everything up? Oh, jeez. It was a pretty bird. There since I started working in Whirling. I really liked her. You call her Scotty. So you're telling me that I was the one who made you want to quit. Alright, thank you for talking to me. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? I'm done with the radio, thank you. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. So you run your fingers over one of these steering levers. The white suede feels luxurious under the touch and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch, labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. No, I was just checking it out, don't worry about it. Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. <laughs> Alternative translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. I don't really think that's what he means, but okay. Let's just close it. Alright. Uh, what do we get? What new things did we get? We have a pry bar. Okay. So it's a pry bar. You mean a crowbar. Okay, we got some... Uh, Cutters and a flashlight. Nice. Okay, so we have to keep tracking the collar, track down my gun. Hopefully it's somewhere in the building. We might want to pick it up before we get the body. Just saying. Uh, let's see. 
I could really use a little bit of empathy work, I feel like. So, let's uh let's level up the empathy a bit. Or can I can I level this up? Can I level this up? I don't think I I guess I I can't. I guess I can't. Let's uh let's let's just level empathy. No, authority. Intimidate the public, assert yourself. Connect to Station 41, understand cop culture. Charm men and women, play the puppet master. Hunches and guts feeling, dream, dreams in walking life. What's this do? Cool for dreamers, paranatural investigators, mental creators. Cool for sane people, well adjusted cops, the non suicidal. Hold yourself together, keep your morale up. You know what? I think this sounds good. Let's go with that. Oh wait, can I revert? Oh, I can revert. But is this permanent? That's the question. Let's see. Oh, it seems to be permanent as soon as I leave the menu. I I gotcha. I gotcha. This is fine. Though. This is fine. All right. Any Oh, we got people here. Should I talk to you? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. I think you're a homeless person. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Let's go. I don't want to mess with this guy. Who's this person? The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Uh, I have some questions for you. Of course. What can I help you with? We need directions. Of course. Where to? What is in the south? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. What is on the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there, and a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. What is up north? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. What is in the east? The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Yeah, I saw that. What is in the west? It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. All right, that's all for now, thank you. Actually, now, where am I? What do you mean? Uh, I'm a bit disoriented. This is Revacol, right? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. She looks around. This intersection is called Roundabout North. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. The lieutenant seems uncomfortable with the level of disorientation you're displaying. All right, that's it for now. No problem. Uh, I don't think we need to really ask who she is yet, so let's go. Of course. I won't hold you back. All right. Well, I feel like I need to go back to my room first, check to see if I can find my gun. Oh, there's the there's my shoe. How do I get to my shoe? Okay, I know we need to go there. What's this? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Yeah, okay, we don't need to call anyone. That's not. Rue de Seng, Gislaine 8B. Okay. What's in here? There are bottles inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Why would I want to do that? What's this? This Post Lavantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. Fucking mail delivery box. Uh, leave. Yeah, 
Uh, none of my concern at the moment. I know some people would like to play like very chaotically. That's just not, that's just not how who I am. I'm kind of playing this how I would want to to play it. What's this? Oh, it's a bookstore. I think it's a bookstore. I don't think we need anything in here, but I'm kind of curious what what's around. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. An endless variety of source books, lore books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, Second Edition. Welkin, I know that There's guy's name. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art The Hunters of Catawack. Boreal Creature Compendium, and a Pick Your Path adventure game book titled Tales of Wirral, Cavern of Velkrag. Books in a board game section? Who wants to read books? Anything that really catches my eye? <laughs> Maybe I'm not into all this, uh, Binoclard stuff. A towering mountain of colorful board game boxes and Wirral codices. You know, I just kind of wanted to like goof off and check to see what might be possibly here, but I don't think um, I should even be here right now. I should be looking for a dead body and my gun and shoe. I found my shoe. I should probably at least get my shoe first. Gun second. The books collects the national recipes of Arda. They're all about lake trout. Very nice. What's over here? Ooh, it's not, looks shady. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. I want to say what's behind the curtains. And I can kind of see what's behind the curtains. But there's nothing to check right now, so ignore the curtains for now. We don't have no warrant, no reason to search. Uh, I guess we'll... I really should just get my shoe. Let's go, go ahead and get my shoe first. Who's this? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. A young girl with chubby red cheeks waves at you. Smiling. Her nose is also red from the, cur from the cold. Hi. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh, not really. I'm gonna leave. At least you didn't push it. That's my job. Oh, I can run! Oh, that was good to know. That was good to know. Wait, can I... I need to find a way how to get my shoe first before we... do stuff. I did not know I could run. That is very helpful to know. Now, I need to figure out how to get my shoe. Apparently, I have to go on the second floor. Yes. No, no, no. Nothing. I... I should get my shoe... Uh, badge not found. I'll go into the kitchen later after I get my shoe. Doesn't seem to be anything here. No gun, either. What's this? You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. Nah. Nah. Not really my thing. Not really my thing. Okay, so let's open this. After three days, I'm finally sober. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. My shoe. The gusts of briny wind washes over you and my shoe. Alright, now we have both shoes. Great. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. Wait, these do not do not look like normal cop shoes. Do they fit? 
How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Good. Well, let's go back in. Uh, we're done here. It's also snowing. I should probably check my room to see if the gun is in there. Also, possibly the badge. I can't imagine where else it could, uh, could be. Where could it have gone? Possibly next door, somewhere. Wait. Kim tries and tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. You're looking at the destruction? I'm sorry for this. I did it my way. This is where the magic happens. I'm sorry for this. No problem, officer. Takes a step forward the toward the door and he'd like to leave. Yeah, just a second, I'm trying to look for my gun. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. I see. Uh, there's my tie. Do I need it? This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Yeah, let's pull on the fan. Let's uh, slow it down if you want our tie back. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. All right. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie. With four or five different patterns. <laughs> the knot reminds you of a noose. Just leave. Actually, no, let's pull on the light. The I'm fan gonna... stands still. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Uh, bring it on. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. Pull on the light bulb again. The lights... Are off again. And I just wanted to get more light here so I can see if there's a gun and badge, but apparently... The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. But apparently that's not an option. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try to open this door. I think it goes to this room, whatever the heck it is. Okay, I'm going to have to open the door from the outside and let's see how this works out. Nada. Tie, plus one inlaid empire. Holy crap, that is hideous. It's something though. Wait, wait, wait. Suggestion minus one? Wait, why? Wait, wait, where is this? Where is this? Suggestion minus one from the white satin shirt, but increases my psyche by plus two. All right, then. All right, then. Well, let's get out of here. I think uh, we're done. Yeah, we're... How do I run? Okay, we're done with this area. And let's just go ahead and uh, check to see... that body really quick there's the fence you see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic huh right there's a vehicle that went through here uh, reconstruct the movement. What kind of vehicle drove through here? 
Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. Visual calculus, let's try. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown oh. event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Start, crash, reverse, turn. Interesting. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. What happened next? The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. A car drove through the fence. Is this connected to the case? I wonder... I can't tell. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. Okay. Fair enough. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went. If you find the time. I think I got it. Alright, let's check the body really quick. Is there anything here that I might be missing? Oh! There is someone. There is footprints. <laughs> Smells like a spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A uh, human being decomposes. Oh, this guy. Oh. Before we check that... There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 peers have walked here. Hmm. Let's get an exact count. What do you think you are? A super detective? You're hungover. These are just dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. Well, crap. Heavy worker's boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, worker's boots tracks. Noted. Get an exact count locked. Okay, well then. There's something in the box here. Uh... Money and magnesium. Let's take all that. Nice. I wonder what happens if my morale goes down to zero. What else is here? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. What is this? Perception? Sight? Uh, why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? 42%. I don't really... Hmm. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Alright, we'll just leave it be for now. I've, I have a feeling it's covering something, but... It's not important at the moment. Well, it's not. This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay, not important. Some stuff here, though. But we can't get through unless. Can I whack it? Can I whack this? Well, this one is metal, so I can't whack that. Can't do anything here either. Alright then, let's take it off before uh, some people get suspicious of us. Let's go. What's this? Someone is trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. Okay. Okay, we can't access that. This kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Right, we'll get that guy in a bit. Talk to this kid first. Kuno's got this! 
The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. You look freaking ugly. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. That's exactly what I thought. Oh yeah, not a comfy kuno. This one is also ugly, but not as ugly as the one in front of us right now. Hey kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting to this right now. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Okay, you both. Get out. It's loving in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! Wow, kids! Shit himself! The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Ugly and stupid. Okay. Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Okay, well, let's leave them to... Do whatever. Uh, let's uh, figure out what else is here. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Or no, pry bar. We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. And he also has information. Tool not equipped, leave. Right, okay, I guess a uh, vandalism wouldn't be very... good idea. Letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above descending. Alright, well, I have... Possibly procrastinate this enough. Let's uh, take the take the body down. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. And he's also naked. You seem to be holding your breath. Uh, look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. My God, why is it so bad? Because it's decomposing. Turn away, leave. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well. Uh, I do have a wire cutter you can probably i don't know i can we can probably take it there, down he somehow. still is looking right through you with his white eyes Fire. the body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell emitting it is all it does now well i guess let's try the first option active decay it took it to throw up of his own no one is judging He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! Let's go. What am I supposed to do? I'm so, I know I'm supposed to take this body down, but... How do I take the body down? Let's see. Let's see. Inspect the body... There's a preliminary inspection. You just need to suppress the urge to throw up and approach it. I just did that. There he still is, looking right through you, 
with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Uh, do I throw up? Do I not throw up? This better not do anything bad. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Uh, try to walk away. Well, there's the puke. All right then. I was trying to avoid this, but I, wa I'm not, I wasn't sure this was a required action on my part. Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Evan corpse. Keep it. The lieutenant hands you a blue checkered handkerchief. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. You think ammonia would help? Okay, where do we get ammonia from? There's the fruit nearby. Maybe they have some in the apothecary. If they don't... The greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Okay. Hmm. Pretty clever. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier, and allow you to retry them. Alright, well, apparently I had to puke to keep going the game, but uh, before before we do anything, let's uh, check what we got. Handkerchief. Uh, I guess I can't return this to him, and not that he would want it after I wiped it with my puke. Might have to sell that at some point. Uh, let's see, okay. All right, I think that's going to do it for today. I know I probably took quite a while to get to here. Um, procrastinating, checking out the place. But hey, any good detective is going to see what's around before getting down to the job. Unless, of course, we're burning daylight, which apparently we didn't burn too much daylight. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. I do stream... At a regular schedule, so notif notification bell will help you catch my streams and anything else that I do. Until then, thank you all for coming, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye.